Welcome back Halo fans. Today I want to talk about the abomination that is the Halo TV series. I'm approaching this from somewhat of an outsider's perspective, having that I've never actually watched a single episode of the show. However, I have been an avid fan of this series for over 20 years. From the clips I've seen and what I've read about it, I think I've gathered enough information to at least make a half-assed opinion piece on it. Why did we get the series that we did? Could they not have done better than this? Let's discuss all that. The Halo TV show is officially stated as non-canon by 343. I'm not particularly happy about it, but even with it being a totally self-contained story, it still can't manage to be a good show. It craps all over the established lore, and takes characters we love and completely rewrites them until they are unrecognizable from the established source material. And look, I'm not totally against retelling the same story in a different way. I really love the 2019 Joker movie, and I really think Heath Ledger's Joker and Joaquin Phoenix's version are both phenomenal for totally different reasons. I can't really favor one over the other because they've both been portrayed so well. But I do have a problem in the case of the Halo show with the source material being trashed in order to retell the same story in a worse way. Besides, Halo's too big of a universe to have to do that in the first place. Why does the same story need to be retreaded? We all love the Master Chief, Johnson, Captain Keys, and Cortana, but their stories have already been told in books, comics, miniseries, and most importantly, the games. Halo is such a massive universe spanning hundreds of thousands of years and over 10 unique species. So why do we need to keep retelling the same four months of Halo's story? I don't know if you've noticed, but the Human Covenant War began in 2525 and ended in late 2552. Halo Reach begins on July 24th, 2552, and the main events of Halo 3 end on November 17th, 2552. And on March 3rd, 2553, we see the memorial ceremony for the war take place, signaling its end. The entirety of Bungie's FPS titles only cover less than four months of time in-universe for a war that spans over 27 years. The story they told was about the tail end of the war and only goes over less than 2% of that war's duration. I believe the show is wasted potential in numerous ways, but the biggest waste is not covering the other 98% of the war while humanity was losing battle after battle and planet after planet to the overwhelming force that was the Covenant. Humanity suffered over 23 billion losses of life in that time, and by the end, Earth alone was down to a population of 200 million. For perspective, the estimated total human population across the galaxy was 39 billion before the war took place. And look, I know many of the novels cover events before and after the war, however the novels are not as widely consumed as something like a weekly series or movie might be. I've been a huge Halo fan for over 20 years, and have only read The Fall of Reach cover to cover, and that was nine years ago. I love to read, and so do many people, but most people would rather sit and play a game or watch a series or movie that's well made. What I'm saying is this. There's an infinite amount of potential characters to dream up with even more countless stories that could be told. Reach, ODST, and Halo Wars prove that the story does not need to revolve around the Master Chief in order for fans to love it. In fact, my personal favorite character arc in universe is the Arbiters during Halo 2. That makes two of us. Halo fans have been wanting spin-off games for years, and last month when we got wind of Microsoft shooting down multiple game pitches from 343 about all kinds of different Halo games, the Halo community was extremely disappointed, and rightfully so. I've been saying for years that a game about Harvest would be awesome. Imagine following the events of First Contact with the Jackals and the ensuing Battle of Harvest. Johnson was there, how great would a lore accurate game about that be? The last thing I want to talk about is the art direction. I'm not saying live action is a bad route to go, but in this case, the show doesn't look that good. In fact, the CGI looks a little wonky at times, especially for about $10 million per episode. I think I speak for most of us when I say the blur cutscenes from Halo 2 Anniversary and Halo Wars 2 look 10 times better. I really wish the show had been done this way, because even 10 years later, these graphics still blow me away. I personally think they look much better than the CGI they use in the show. And yes, the Blur cinematics are quite expensive at roughly $1 million per minute, but we're talking about Microsoft here. I go back on YouTube all the time and watch the cutscenes from Halo 2 Anniversary and Halo Wars 2 as if they were a movie. Just imagine getting that level of quality every single episode. In conclusion, I wish we would have gotten a better TV show with writers whom actually respect the lore of the series they write for. But with stories like Halo 5 being canon, I guess we're just used to disappointment at this juncture. Halo's in a weird spot, but it doesn't mean it can't get better. If you enjoy this video, leave a like. 
If you hated it, leave a dislike. And if you haven't already, consider subscribing to the channel. Do you agree with the points I made in this video? Leave a comment with your opinion below. Let's start a discussion. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.